is Hoyter Van Hoytemann, yes, my friend. I love that Both guy. shot on film. Yep, I, I, that's my opening question. What a luxury. Yeah, yeah. I love 35, man. Yeah. I love 35. Yeah. Those shots in the back of the car when Sharon and Polanski are driving with the hair, it's I know. so cool. Kevin, name yeah. that one, Yeah, Kevin McCarthy. You guys, we are going. What was, oh, wait, okay. Because well, I, mean, I, I got a geek question. Phantom Thread, when they're in the driving shots. Yes. Do they shoot that on film? Oh, yeah, that was shot 35, and yeah. then they blew it up to 70. Beautiful. Yeah, uh, PTA actually did this really cool thing. If you went to the arc like to see that movie, they had a special playlist of songs playing as you sat in the theater before the movie started. Pretty uh, cool. Ah, yeah. delicious. Yeah. First of all, congratulations to you. Thanks. I have always found that the movies you make, the directors allow the cinematography and score to be leading characters as well. Mm. And if you look at something like Deacons on Jesse James when he was blurring out those so left and right side yeah. of the frame, yeah. or Robert Richardson when we follow your character into the drive-in, over the drive-in theater to, to your trailer, and then now this Hoyta Van Hoytema, who's one of my favorite cinematographers ever, mm -hmm. John Interstellar, and then this. What's your relationship like with the DP in the sense of how it affects your performance? And what, as you're acting, what's that relationship like with the lighting and the shot? Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a cinematography geek as well. And being a film lover, and it's everything. These images, yeah, be, you know, are everything. And I've been really fortunate to, um, to work with these guys. And I do, I agree with you. Hoyta Van Hoytema is one of our best. Um, you just, you know, it's a lot of it, you don't, you, it's just a complete trust. Really, the our relationship with the DP is we're just having a, a, you know, a laugh, some levity. And then he'll tell you if he needs you to be somewhere or where the light, you know, w with what he's trying to, to achieve. And, and, and you just go with it. You, you make it work. Yeah. Um, often you don't see the final result until it goes through the processing and, and it's color corrected and you see, oh, that's what he knew it would be um, in the end all along. In fact, they always say, it's not gonna look like that, it's not gonna look like that. Hmm. It's like their disclaimer when you're checking out the framing of a shot where you need to be. They're going, it's not going to look like that. It's not going to look like that. But a shot in like Fight Club, for example, like if Fincher's coming towards you and you're doing that, and the camera's like shaking visibly and you do that line, do you, is it shaking there or is that done in post um, when he comes towards you like that? I don't remember. I mean, because Fincher's a mad genius with, <laughs> with uh, camera technique. So I think, I believe I remember it shaking. <laughs> Yes, I believe it was shaking then. That's an amazing moment. There's a great sequence in the film where you talk about Tommy Lee Jones' character, your father, taking you to black and white films as a kid. His character likes musicals. Mm -hmm. um, I know you've talked a lot about going to see Alien with your father, but I was curious, was there a particular movie, a movie that hit you so hard when you were younger that it created this idea that I want to be an actor? No, in fact, I mean, yes, but no. But I didn't mm -hmm. know it. I didn't ever thought about acting as, a, as an option. Um, it, I mean, because it wasn't an option where I grew up. It was I grew up in the middle of America um, in the Ozarks, and it was um, it just wasn't on the curriculum list of options. Mm. You know, it wasn't until it hit me two weeks before I was going to graduate that you know what I'm going to go to it. And I'm going to try it. I'm going to go to it. Um, but uh, I do have. I remember this. I have this indelible experience. We'd always go to the drive-in theater and sit out on the hood of the car. My mom and dad, and my brother and sister, and, and uh, in great, you know, summer night air, and seeing Butch and Sundance when I was in kindergarten. I think I was in kindergarten or first grade mm. or second grade, somewhere in there, and just bawling at the end. I couldn't believe they were dead. I didn't want them, I didn't want them gone. Yeah, and uh, and trying to hide that from my parents because I was embarrassed. 